Hello, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be focused on showing you my setup on the PCSX2 emulator. The only reason that I like to use the setup that I have is so I can play Tenkaichi 3 and 4 and they look the best that they can possibly look. So if you're having trouble with your outlines not being correct on the characters or the glow not being correct or your resolution sucks, this is the video for you. Now to begin, First thing I want to point out is you don't want to go to settings and then graphics because if you do, you go over here to rendering and you see these two bottom checkboxes. This is if you just click on settings and then go straight to graphics. You got spin GPU during repacks and spin CPU during repacks. You don't want either of those checked. So instead what you want to do is you can do this to 10 kg 3 or 4. I'm going to go to 4. You want to right click, go to properties. Okay, now you want to go to the graphics, and when you go to rendering, you see this down here, this new little checkbox that says Manual Hardware Renderer Fixes. You want to check that. See what happens up here? You get two new tabs, Hardware Fixes and Upscaling Fixes. This is where you're going to fix the majority of the issues. Now, something else I'd like to point out is when you get to this point, is you want you can go over here back to your emulator and you can start up the game and as you can see the outlines on the characters are very offset that's not supposed to look like that and if I use Goku's Kaioken attack you see that glow that's not supposed to look like that either we're gonna fix that so now that we know our issues first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I like to set it up my internal resolution I set to three times native 1080p and all these your internal resolution and your full screen mode resolution that varies that depends on your setup your hardware my computer is well over 10 years old I've got outdated hardware as you can see right here where my mouse is uh, wiggling on rendering as I mentioned earlier you want manual hardware renderer fixes to be on you want that clicked on internal resolution you just choose whichever one you want if you go to native PS2 then this is what it looks like it'll look all uncrispy it'll, it'll it's basically normal PS2 resolution however it looks good though if you had an old TV and you were playing this on an old TV, this would look fine. And even the glow on the characters is fixed. Like even Goku's Kaioken glow is correct. It's in the right spot. You can see by looking at his leg right here, it's in the right spot. But we want it to look HD. We're wanting this to look even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the internal resolution back to three times, 1080p next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna go to hardware fixes everything else under rendering you can leave use global settings default all these other settings can be left to default or off you can pause your screen and look at what I've got going so the number one thing is the software clut render we're gonna come back to that for now let's go to upscale fixes this is where you fix the outline your texture offsets well first of all all these all these three need to be off. All these checkboxes, ignore them. Texture offsets, you want to set that. Your X needs to be at 448, and your Y needs to be at 512. If I put X at 448, watch what happens. 448 scoots those black lines over. You put the Y at 512. Look at that. It already looks so much better just that upscaling fix and you can't do that unless you click on this magic little box right here manual hardware renderer fixes you have to have that checked in order to do this so the next issue we want to address is that glow and Goku when he's using Kaioken his glow is off it's still off you can look at his hair up here and you can see that shape right there that's supposed to be lined up with the character itself. You can even see it on his arm. We're going to fix that. Software clut render. Put that on normal. And when you put that on normal, now the glow is fixed. The glow is fixed. And the game looks the best it can possibly look. I'm just going to show you every single tab under advanced. I just All that is normal. That's all under recording. All that is default OSD is default post-processing all that's default 
texture replacement. I haven't touched any of that. Upscaling fixes. The only thing I mess with is X and Y. Hardware fixes. Software clip render put to one. Everything else I left alone. Rendering three times native under internal resolution or anything whatever matches you. If, if you catch slowdown, the first thing I would try is to turn this down to 1.5. That's what I had to do yesterday for the slowdown to not be there at all. Or if you don't care how it looks at all, just put at native PS2 and none of this would be, even be an issue to begin with. You gotta make sure you have ran, manual hardware render fixes and your display full screen mode is what I changed. That's the only thing I've changed here. The rest is kind of up to you. You can poke around with whatever you want to poke around with, but that's my setup for the PCSX2 emulator. I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah.